My girlfriend 21 female asked me 22 male if she can have sex with another guy in exchange of good amount of money. Hey guys, I 22 male have found my girlfriend 21 female via social media and we have talked for a year. We are living in different cities so we have never seen each other in real life until the last month. Since our first in real life meeting, we had three more meetings so I believe we both really want to be together with each other as possible we can. To clear y'all minds, she is the first girlfriend that I had in my life and naturally I was a virgin until I met her. I do really like her. I am stunned with her body every time I see her. I believe our chemistry as a couple is great. I have not experienced common symptoms of love such as extreme heartbeat, stomach pain due to love sickness, but I want to be close to her anytime that I can. When we are not together in real life, we text with each other a lot. She does not have a lot of friends so I think I am both her boyfriend and her best friend. She is extremely relaxed about telling me whatever she is thinking at that moment. She never hesitates to talk about what is on her mind. I am also an extremely open person for talking about any kind of a subject. Two days ago, while we were texting she asked me a question hey baby, do you think that I should sell myself for a couple grands of dollars is that enough money for X? Or should I interpret this offer as an insult and reject it? She is someone that really likes joking around so I thought she was just asking me one of her hypothetical questions. But it turned out that the offer was a real thing. I asked her if there was really someone there that made an offer to her and she responded yes. There is a guy who is really fixated with her. I asked what did she answer to the guy, and she said, that she did not give any answer yet. She told me that she is still thinking about the issue and stated that couple grands for just a momentary intercourse is not a bad offer. I responded her that I am surprised with her idea of selling her body and I expressed that I felt like her pimp instead of her boyfriend. She said to me that we are not setting a price for her body but instead we are evaluating the offer from the guy. I told her that there is no certain price for a woman to sell her body. It depends on various metrics such as income of woman socio-cultural background that woman came from, moral codes of woman, people that around woman, other sources that woman can earn money from and etc. And I added that there are women that do prostitution for very small price and there are some women that you can not buy her body with money. I have also said that I would not do prostitution in exchange of couple grants. After I told her all these, she said that the ex offer is for the next day and asked whether if I break up with her if she accepts the offer. I was a bit shocked by the whole conversation and I said to her that I do not understand if she is mocking with me or not. She stated that she is serious with the whole situation. I stated that I do not want her to sell her body for a couple of grands and I added we would break up with her if she accepts the offer. We were texting during her night shift so she could not write me back about the whole issue. She sent me wholesome full of love messages and wrote me that she will write me down after she wakes up about what we have spoken. But she did not wrote me anything yesterday until night time. I assume she was on drugs or alcohol so she just asked me very hypothetical thing about theology. What do you guys think I have to do? I do not want to be in a monogamic relationship with a prostitute. I am not sure if she yesterday did prostitution, but even the idea of prostitution seemed my girlfriend feasible is somiting that bugging my head. If you don't want to be in a relationship with an ex-worker you should break up now, or you can pretend she didn't do it and live in denial that way. She's not an ex-worker though, doesn't sound like she's doing this as work. She's engaging in sexual activity for one payment. That would just make her a prostitute by definition. Ex-workers do it for a living. A. She says the man is fixated on her and is offering thousands to duck her. I would be concerned for her safety if she agreed or disagreed it sounds like a situation that could go wrong very fast and end with something bad happening. B. There's nothing wrong with not wanting to date a ex-worker. For some people, ex is private and intimate and there's nothing wrong with not wanting to share your partner sexually. If she doesn't respect your boundaries and is willing to break up just to do X work presumably one time, she is not committed to you or your relationship. And she should break up with you if your boundary is too much for her and she doesn't think she can handle abiding by it. No one is in the wrong here unless she stays with you and chooses to duck him. Seconding this, this man's fixation sounds like a huge red flag and if she sleeps with him it definitely has the potential to escalate into a more dangerous situation. This is the most bizarrely written post. Your approach to evaluating things is very calculated like especially the various metrics for selling your body bet. Second story. Three weeks before our wedding. I 39 female found out my fiancé 41 male hooked up with at least 7 other women. Everybody says I will never be able to do better than him. My fiancé and I have been together for 10 years and have been engaged for 3 of them. We finally have been able to set a wedding date for 3 weeks from now. Family and friends are all set to fly in. And I heard that they have collaborated on some really nice wedding gifts. Three years before dating my fiancé, my college boyfriend and I have been living together and he fell into a depression after he lost his job. Admitted to a one-night stand, and everybody around me pressured me to leave him, scoffing at his overtures to explain, apologize, and go to counseling. 
I regretted not trying to at least go to counseling with him and we reconnected off and on until he moved away. My fiancé was trying to build his company from the ground up and when I met him, he was going month by month not knowing whether or not he could pay rent. He told me that he would never cheat on me, no matter what his mental health, or when times got hard. We have put off having kids because he needed the money to reinvest in his company. Finally his company ran into some luck and is now a success. He's somewhat of a celebrity in the local business community and sits on many boards for organizations. Is invited to judge venture fund contests, give speeches at political events, etc. Around that time he, started traveling a lot and a lot of the times he would go days without having time to take a call from me. People who worked for the company would exchange looks when I was around and some of the employees started dropping hints about him spending too much of his energy on a deal with a particular sales representative 26 female. He denied it all until the affair blew up and the sales representative decided to get revenge by informing his very religious mom about it first, telling her that he helped her with rent and covered payments on her BMW. That had the intended effect since his mom's opinion matters more to him than anything and since she's only 18 years older than him and a single mom. They have gone through a lot together and he feels the need to protect her from unpleasant things. His mom forced him to apologize and we went to counseling for six months. After that, he proposed. Then two days ago I get a DM on Instagram from this girl who said that he was at a nightclub, hit on her, and they slept together. I decide to take the plunge in his phone and realize that in the past year and a half he has been to countless strip clubs and through Snapchats and text messages he had ex with at least seven different women. Most of them 21-25 years old and dancers at clubs with various pages promoting their dancing. I was shaking, crying, and I called my mom and sisters to tell them about what I found. There was mostly silence on the other line when I told them and them asking me if I talked to him about this, asking me if he was treating me differently, and how much he has sent these women. I told them I do not want to go forward with the wedding but they all were shocked and asked what was I going to tell everybody that was talking about it and anticipating it. They told me that bottom line was I needed to try to work it out, not just for this instance, but, for the relationship we were going to have ahead. They said this was not a college romance anymore and then implied that I've been with him so long and if he is still treating me well. I shouldn't embarrass him like this and I can only be far from sure that I'll find another man that won't make me miss my fiancé. And then we'd be back at where we started. When I confronted my fiancé about the women, he said he was sorry and then asked me what else would I like him to do. He said he doesn't know what one can do beyond saying sorry and that strip clubs are a common place for people to conduct business. And I was approved to try to circumvent him from doing so. He also said he loves me. Not any of the neurotic college girls who throw themselves at taken men and that I was putting all the blame on him when other people continuously flirt with him because it takes two. He has since tried to take me out on dates and surprise me with breakfast in bed, but I feel nothing but seething when I look at him. I have to admit that a lot of people do flirt with my fiancé when we are out together and it fills me with such despair and anguish that I have started to gain weight from the stress. I don't know what to do and I know I'll be vilified if I try to call off the wedding. Didn't read past the headline because literally nothing else matters. Everybody else is ducking stupid dump his ass and everyone saying that shit, and get a better support system in your life. Also, please go get tested for STDs. Call off the wedding. If people ask why, tell them the truth. Third story. My 50 male teenage daughter 16 female is pregnant, does not want an abortion, has no boyfriend and expects me to pay for her all of her expenses. I am such at a loss of words that I am posting this here. My 50 male daughter Vanessa 16 female does not live with me full time since me and her mother are divorced. She spends three days with me and four with her mom. I made sure that Vanessa was properly taught ex-ed, but I guess I did not do it properly. Yesterday, Vanessa told me she had something to say to me that was, extremely serious. Turns out her mother has been letting her go to parties mind you Vanessa is unvaccinated. And she has been sleeping around with a bunch of people. She is now pregnant of three months. To say that I am shocked would be underestimating the situation. She then proceeds to tell me that she is going to need her college fund to support herself, to continue to pay for her education. Housing in for me to turn a bedroom in my house into a nursery, in a completely calm manner, like this was an everyday chat. I don't have a college fund for her, since I they always paid directly from my account. I do not have a house that is big enough to house her, her child, my wife and me. I do not have the money to put her trough college while paying her expenses doctor's appointments, medicines, things for the baby, etc. And honestly speaking, I do not want a newborn in my house. I want to be in peace. She also has not tell her mother. Since she is by far more reactive than I am, Vanessa also said that she is keeping the child. And abortion is out of the question. Kicking her out is not an option. She is still my child. Even when she makes mistakes. But, how do I knock some sense into her? Do I tell her mother? Do I organize an intervention with all the family? How do I even deal with this? 
Too long didn't read my teenage daughter is pregnant and expects me to pay for everything. I do not have the money to do that. What do I do to make her come into her senses? Edit I will not force my child into having an abortion. That s vile and disgusting. Also, please stop suggesting me to put pills into her breakfast so she has a miscarriage. Anyone who comments that is an awful human being, definitely involve her mom. Sooner rather than later. She wanted to be the fun parent. She can be the fun grandparent. Don't insist on or push for termination or adoption out as she may resent you for this. Do set firm boundaries around finances, living arrangements and child minding. Your daughter needs an accurate portrayal of the future on which to base her decisions. Tell you will look after her as your child, but in turn she will need to look after her child. Fourth story. I just found out that my husband gifted our neighbor's daughter a 300 plus Saint Laurent bracelet for her birthday without telling me. Me F33 and my husband M37 moved into our new home in a rural neighborhood seven months ago. We love it here. Neighborhood is quiet. Neighbors are lovely and friendly and we get along with almost everyone. Especially our next door neighbor who's a single mother of two boy 13 and girl 17 we see her daughter Chelsea out in the neighborhood often. She works as a babysitter for other neighbors and helps kids with activities in the neighborhood and also does free cleaning service for the entire neighborhood. Her mom sometimes sends her to us to borrow stuff. Seeing how Chelsea and her mother are struggling to make ends meet my husband, and I do all we can to help. We both work and have decent salaries. Everything was going fine until two days ago when I pumped into Chelsea's mother at the local grocery store and she greeted me. While we were having a small chat outside she said she wanted to thank me and my husband for the gift we brought Chelsea for her birthday and went on about how unnecessary it was and that should have never bothered. I was puzzled. Yes I knew Chelsea's birthday was days ago and neither me nor my husband attended but I knew nothing about sending her a gift which was a 300 plus Saint Laurent bracelet. I was stunned when she told me that. I of course tried to act normal but was boiling inside. We said goodbye and I went home and checked if there were any purchases made with our joint account but found nothing. I got confused at this point and waited for my husband to get home to explain to me about the gift that I didn't know about. He got home and I brought this up with him. He confirmed purchasing the bracelet and sending it to Clissy as a gift for her birthday. I asked why he didn't tell me. He said since he used his fun money to pay for it and not our joint account then he figured there was no need to tell me about it. I asked if he ever thought 300 was a lot to give to a 17 year old let alone a neighbor. He said that I know how much our neighbor and her kids are struggling and that Chelsea probably doesn't have much nice stuff so he figured a designer bracelet will make her brag in front of her friends for once. He emphasized feeling sorry for Chelsea and her mom and decided to do this nice gesture since she does a good job keeping the neighborhood clean and helping other neighbors. I told him about how this made me feel upset and caught off guard when Chelsea's mom brought up the bracelet. I told him it wasn't cool that I found about it via her and asked if he ever planned on telling me and he got annoyed saying why do you think I should tell you about everything I spend my own money on. And what about how controlling I was becoming lately and that he would have told me if he made the purchase via our joint account but because this wasn't the case then I shouldn't be mad. It's not just the money it's the fact that he paid for a 300 plus bracelet for our neighbor's daughter which is a lot in my opinion. Besides I've never received a bracelet from him that was as expensive as the one he got Chelsea. I brought it up again later in bed and he got angry then apologized saying he was sorry he didn't know I was this controlling constantly trying to guilt him for spending his money on a nice gift for this struggling poor girl then went out the bedroom basically telling me to grow up because I was acting jealous. I honestly don't know if I should just stop discussing this with him seeing how angry it makes him. Thing is he's never acted like this before and he's usually open and honest with me especially when it comes to money and purchases. I feel like something is up with him but can't really tell. I can't help but feel confused and upset. Hit like. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing to our channel.